Hi, Mitch Bailey here. One of my last videos was a FLIR camera can look through walls, and we use that camera all the time in our, uh, in our test ends on homes to show the customer where the insulation is not meeting the air barrier, where the thermal barrier is not touching. When they're not touching, you get these voids in the insulation which uh, contribute to uh, rooms being uncomfortable, hard to heat and cool, and it just wastes energy. So we can take this camera quickly and show uh, customers around the house where there are problems in their ceilings and how later on we go back and we can show how we fix these problems uh, with the FLIR camera again after we've insulated the attic. However, FLIR cameras can also be very important for finding uh, any type of other issues that can be a hazard. In this case, I opened up an electrical panel in this customer's house up in uh, at Diablo Grande, which is a subdivision in um, up in the foothills uh, uh, on a golf course. And the person, when I was moving some wires to take some electrical readings, I was going to take the amp, draw the volts and the power factor on the furnace because I didn't want to crawl in the attic and do it. I could do it from the electrical panel. We were moving some wires to get access with my amp meter and my clamp, and the wire net was very, very hot when I touched it. It was, uh, so I grabbed my FLIR camera, put it on there, and when I first initially did it, before I snapped the picture, it was over 220 degrees. Now, since the panel was off, the cover was off, the panel started cooling off and so did that wire, but it was very, very hot. That was a wire nut that should not have been wire nutted. It should have had a split bolt connector. We also call them kernies for short. Kernies are, uh, it's a brand name, but everybody calls them kernies. Those, that should have been that type because you put the two wires together and then you bolt it down. It makes a really good connection. Wire nuts do not make a connection on aluminum, and this was aluminum, and it didn't, it, it, so it was overheating the wire. We found this. This could have been a hazard. Could have called, caused a fire. Yes, it probably could. Uh, especially I'll show you, uh, here's a uh, picture up here of the uh, panel itself and the uh, wire nut and how hot it was. You can see here it was almost 200 degrees in this picture here. Um, but that's very, it's very crucial that we, you know, take care of this. And when we go back out to install this person's system, we're going to replace that wire nut with a split bolt connector or a kerney. And that should save it. And here's another picture of what it does if, when you just use wire nuts. They can melt. They will melt if they're not making good connections. And that could potentially cause a fire. And it is a hazard. So uh, get a FLIR camera. They're, they're very useful. You may not be able to afford a $3,000 one like the one I have. But there are some excellent ones there. Here's one from that you can buy on Amazon. That uh, It's a good FLIR camera. attaches to your phone. Uh, allows you to take some really good pictures. I would suggest you get one. Uh, it's only a few hundred dollars. They range in price from about two hundred dollars on up to about five hundred bucks for one for your phone, and they work really well. They can show these kind of issues. It will also show where there's voids in the insulation and stuff. They're just not as accurate as the one I have. And if you don't want to buy one or can't afford one, you can also go to the uh, tool lending library. The uh, PG&E has a tool lending library, so to suit Southern California Edison, and you can borrow a FLIR camera for them for up to two weeks. You do have to pay for the shipping, but um, that's a low cost way to, to get one of those cameras, take it, walk around your house, look at your electrical panels, make sure you don't have this kind of issue. And, you know, hopefully, you know, you might keep yourself from having a fire or something so please get a floor camera or use one check it out um, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like and subscribe and see you on the next video